And that's what nutrition can do. When you can naturally give the body what it needs to naturally heal itself. I wanted to make sure I take the opportunity to not only help prepare my body for basketball, but to also prepare myself for life. I would give everything I have if I could go back 10 years and know what I know now. Very few times in your life do you meet somebody and within like a few minutes you trust them enough to actually change the direction of your life. The advancements in nutrition that he was talking about, we were all floored by it. My family is so grateful for Doc. The things that I've seen people recover from with Dr. Wallach's methods, Eclipse by a factor of a thousand anything that I'd seen before. It'll change your life. I am honored and privileged to be part of the Dr. Wallach mission. I love being part of his crusade. From humble beginnings in the 1960s, a young veterinarian with an agricultural background began his career focusing on minerals in human health. Today, this award-winning, best-selling author has revolutionized the health industry. Dr. Joe Wallach has helped literally millions of people discover the secrets of living longer-lasting, healthier, happier lives. Hi, I'm Jimmy Osmond, and I'm here to talk about the amazing contributions of a man that has dedicated literally his entire life to helping people cure their diseases. We could talk all day about his accomplishments or degrees, but over the years, from saving the white rhino species in South Africa to a unique perspective from doing autopsies in animals and humans and finding out that their diseases were really caused from nutritional deficiencies. So let's hear now from Dr. Wallach himself in his own words on how it all began on a little farm in Missouri. People always ask me, how did I get interested in this nutrition program for human beings? Well, it all started uh, when I was four years old. And when I was four years old, I would have what would today be called Tourette syndrome. My mom took me to an eye doctor, a very famous eye doctor, Dr. Mary Jane Skeffington in St. Louis. And she examined me. She was a medical doctor, eye doctor, and she said, look, I can't find anything wrong with Joel. Uh, I do find that he has long eyelashes, and I believe they're hitting his eyeglasses, um, turning around, curling around, tickling his eyeballs, and this is what's causing him to have these ticks and facial cramps and making noises and everything. Well, I'm nine years old, and I couldn't believe that that would be true. And so the next day in school, after she told me to use an eyelash brush to retrain my eyelashes, I went to the library at lunchtime and I got a nurse's handbook and I looked up eyelids and eyelashes and I couldn't find what I was looking for and so I went into the index and I looked up the A's and the B's and the C's and got to cramps and it told me what page to go to and I went to that page and it said cramps are caused by a calcium deficiency. Well, Every morning I'd have to feed the calves that we were going to sell at the, at the auction by giving them alfalfa pellets that were enriched with vitamins and minerals and I remember reading the analysis tag and it had calcium amongst all the other things in the pellets. The next day in the morning I threw the Cheerios out to the chickens and I put those alfalfa pellets enriched with vitamins and minerals into my cereal bowl and my mom thought that was crazy. She wanted to take it away from me. My dad said, oh, well, let him try it. What, what, what do you have to lose here? And I poured milk in there and began to eat them like cereal. And by the third day my Tourette syndrome was gone just in three days after five years of getting worse and worse and worse. So when I was nine years old I had discovered something that, that even medical doctors hadn't thought of, and it was kind of scary. And so I believed at that time that it was actually a gift from God. And so I've always treated that information very, very special as a result. And I've devoted my life to making sure everybody knew about these nutrients. And I learned as we went along that you could prevent and reverse almost every disease you could name, even ones that were thought to be genetically transmitted were really just nutritional deficiencies. And I developed programs to deal with 900 different human diseases, and it all worked. And over the years, I've literally helped millions of people with their diseases and learned how to not only manage them better, but also prevent them and get rid of them. Dr. Wallach has been passionately involved in the political battle for fairness in the medical information that we receive. As a matter of fact, he's credited with successfully suing the FDA seven times. Because of those efforts, the public is now aware of the relationship between folic acid and birth defects. On selenium, 
and its effects on preventing and reversing cancer, and how omega-3 fatty acids can help improve heart health, to name a few. Dr. Wallach has been criticized for his straightforward, blunt approach to the failures of mainstream medical practices. From his best-selling book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, to the hundreds of lectures that Dr. Wallach does each year, he quotes statistics and medical published reports that are literally mind-boggling. The medical system has failed the American public very badly. And when you look at the statistics, it's very, very scary. For instance, this is from the Journal of the American Medical Association. The Center for Disease Control, which is a federal agency that tracks these kind of things, each year in America, medical doctors kill, injure, and infect 15 million patients in hospitals and clinics. Not one of them gets their license suspended for three seconds. Nobody gets an OSHA ticket. Nobody loses their job. And that, that, being a pathologist and seeing what happened to patients on my autopsy table made me very critical of that system. Uh, you break that down a little bit, when you just look at infections in hospitals alone, not clinics, but just hospital infections, every year, again, the Center for Disease Control, this came out in 1998, and the Center for Disease Control said each year in America, medical doctors infect 2 million patients in hospitals. They infect 2 million patients, of which 90,000 die each year, that's a yearly figure, from just the infections that they spread. So nobody raises an eyebrow except me. That's why I'm very passionate about it. Well, I'm a naturopathic doctor. I've been doing this for 26 years clinically. If we look around in the 21st century, everybody is sick all of the time. Autism has risen from one out of 10,000 births to one out of 80. Uh, Alzheimer's has risen from obscurity to become the sixth leading cause of death. Heart disease, cancer, unchanged, arthritis, high blood pressure, obesity, out of control. The leading cause of bankruptcy in the United States, MD-directed medicine. Your medical doctor may be the nicest person that God ever created, but they only know what they've been trained in. And what they've been trained in is one piece of the pie of medical science. The type of medicine that your MD is trained in is referred to as allopathic medicine. I'm trained in naturopathic medicine. There's chiropractic medicine, osteopathic medicine, homeopathic medicine, and they're all good for certain things. Allopathic medicine, what the MDs are trained in, is perfect for surgery when it's necessary, trauma care, and a handful of infectious diseases. That's the wheelhouse of the MD. I have 26 years of clinical experience. I've been around the block with naturopathic medicine, and I got good results practicing the therapeutics that I was taught in medical school. But since I've been following Dr. Wallach's lead, I don't even know what planet I'm on anymore because the things that I've seen people recover from with Dr. Wallach's methods eclipse by a factor of a thousand anything that I'd seen before. Well, in 1977, I was moved to Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia, and the Yerkes Primary Center was working on a big project with NASA. Uh, they were training monkeys to do things in spaceships, and I was supposed to do the pathology on the monkeys that would get sick or die. It was a December, it was a holidays, and all the people who'd been there for years and years and years went on vacation and left me, the new guy, to do the pathology. Well, it turns out that a baby monkey, six months old, was brought to me as dead, and uh, very underweight for its age. And when I did the autopsy, I saw something after all these autopsies, after 20,000 plus autopsies, 454 species of animals and 3,000 humans, I had never seen this before. I looked it up in monkeys and it hadn't been recorded ever before in monkeys. And so I looked it up in humans and it said it was cystic fibrosis in humans. I said, oh, maybe I found the first non-human case of cystic fibrosis, which it turns out it did. Well, I sent off samples of the tissue on, on microscopic slides to experts in pathology of cystic fibrosis around the world. And then when I told them it was a monkey and not a human being, they really got excited because, oh, now we can do research. I had done biopsies of these other living baby monkeys, pancreas and liver and lungs, and they all had cystic fibrosis. So I knew it was an environmental problem. And I found where there was a breakdown in the feeding procedures, and I knew exactly what caused the cystic fibrosis in that monkey and all the other monkeys. Well, I got excited and, of course, um, submitted that to the National Institutes of Health. They wanted me to give a speech in Baltimore, Maryland, and, and share this with other pathologists. 
And when I wrote it all down and gave it to them as a um, abstract that they could put in the program, the invitations, they fired me. He said, Wallach, you must be sniffing glue. Everybody knows cystic fibrosis is genetic. It, it, it can't be not genetic. And they fired me. I said, now, don't I get to defend my research like a PhD student does to a committee? No, we'd be laughed out of the university. We just are afraid to even bring that up. We, we wouldn't even invite a committee to listen to your, your research. And so I was fired. At the time, uh, my wife was having a bout with Hodgkin's disease, a young person's cancer. And I talked to the doctors there, and they said, look, we have this new treatment, uh, no negative side effects, 95% cure rate for Hodgkin's disease. You have everything to gain, nothing to lose by trying it. They gave her, Josephine, my wife, this wondrous treatment, and the treatment killed her. The treatment killed her, even though they said there was no negative side effects of the treatment. She's always been there through everything that's gone on with the cystic fibrosis story as a result. And certainly, um, as books have been written, she's always involved and um, I'm always very proud of her. And um, everybody should know that this is a family adventure, not just a scientific adventure. Dr. Wallach was faced with a major decision. Was he going to stick with the path he was on, having been a very well-respected pathologist, having been a very well-respected veterinarian with published papers, or was he going to go against the giants and stay true to the passion and his discoveries that he's had and to share these nutritional protocols that will bless the lives of millions? This is a typical David and Goliath story. I mean, here's a guy that just lost his wife and is left with young children to raise by himself, and he's fired for a major discovery that goes against the political medical system of the time. What would normally discourage most people was really fuel to the fire of Dr. Wallach's passion to help people understand what they need to do nutritionally to protect themselves. Dr. Wallach decided that the only thing he could do to be true to himself and his findings was to go back to a university and earn yet another degree so that he could treat humans with his nutritional discoveries. At the core of Dr. Wallach's biggest findings is the fact that our bodies need 90 essential nutrients for us to thrive. And that came out of a question that he asked his father as a young boy, why do we feed our animals better nutrition than we feed ourselves? But the vitamins and minerals that our bodies need aren't in our foods. They're not in our foods because the essential nutrients just aren't in the depleted soil we use to grow our food. We have to supplement that food. Think about it. That's what I love about Dr. Wallach's message. It's so simple. It's right in front of our faces. You know, they've cured hundreds of diseases in these animals that are still prevalent in human life by strictly using nutrition. Veterinarians can't afford to use modern medicines. They use nutrition to cure animals of these diseases and have healthy livestock. So all Dr. Wallach's message is, is to apply those same protocols in human life. And he's had so much success. When people exercise, they sweat. And sweat is not water. Sweat is a soup that contains all the nutrients floating around in their blood. If you do not replace all these things you're sweating out, and there's very little on our food. You can see we very quickly get into the negative. Theo Ratliff from the Atlanta Hawks is a very good example. His career was over, and he was a great player, but his career was over because he had so many fractures and breaks and, and um, cartilage problems. We got him on the 90 cents of nutrients, gave him some extra raw materials to support and promote maintenance of repair of cartilage. 90 days, he was back in. He made $140 million in contracts, and here's a guy his career was over and the nutrition was what saved his career. Hi, I'm Theo Riley. I had just made the all-star team in Philadelphia. My career was on top and I went up to block a shot, came down on my wrist, ended up breaking my wrist. They ended up trading me to the Atlanta Hawks. So when the Atlanta Hawks, I was covering from the wrist, I jumped up routine, going up for a rebound, ended up tearing the labor room in my hip. And you know, everything was just going all, all haywire. So I was almost in the midst of retiring. And I overheard Mike Glenn, who's um, talking to one of my fellow comrades about minerals and mineral deficiencies. When we sweat, we sweat out a soup of minerals. So I pulled him to the side and told him, give me a little knowledge on what was going on. 
and, and this, this mental deficiency thing, because I think that's what I'm suffering from because I'm getting all these different injuries and I know I try to take care of myself probably better than anybody. I wanted to make sure I take the opportunity to not only help prepare my body for basketball, but to also prepare myself for life, to be able to be with my kids and play without injuries, to grow and have a long lasting life. Dr. Wallet helped me expand my career 10 extra years. That's what the 90 for Life did for me. I got a call from the Shedd Aquarium and they said, look, we just had a freshwater dolphin from the Ganges River die. Why don't you come over and see if you can find something? So I came over and sure enough, I cut that poor little river dolphin open and the first thing I saw was a heart that should have been the size of an orange, the size of a basketball, had congestive heart failure. So I asked the, um, the keeper there, uh, what do you feed these freshwater dolphins? Well, we feed them whole fish. What type of whole fish do you feed them? We feed them smelt. Well, I knew right away there was a problem because smelt have an enzyme in there that actually destroys certain vitamins. I said, well, there's your problem. And I laid it out for him. And I said, look, you've got to um, change your fish sources. Use some perch, some local uh, white fish perch, not smelt, and put a multivitamin and some um, B vitamins into this uh, fish that you're feeding these dolphins, and you won't have a problem. Sure enough, it ended the problem. Congestive heart failure is a deficiency of a single vitamin, whether it's in a human being or a dolphin or an elephant or a hummingbird or a monkey or, or any animal whatsoever that has a heart, congestive heart failure is a deficiency of a single vitamin. You give the um, 90 essential nutrients with some extra of these vitamins, and within five days sometimes, certainly within 90 days, they're an ex-congestive heart failure patient. They don't need a heart transplant anymore. And it's all nutrition. That is exciting. And if you give your body the raw materials, it will heal itself. We're a healing machine. I'm Blake Graham, and I've had the honor and privilege of working with Dr. Wallach now for over 18 years. Now, before that, I was in pre-med. And in pre-med, I was amazed that we would study chemistry and biochemistry, even physics and calculus. But what was really surprising is that we didn't study nutrition. And when I found Dr. Wallach, I learned why. When you look at how medicine works, when you talk about pharmaceutical drugs, you're talking about selective roadblocks, something that stops a metabolic process from working. And if you think of the names, they'll tell you what they do. They're anti-inflammatory, they're proton pump inhibitors, they're calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, that's what they do. Now, on the other hand, nutrition, it's the construction crew. The construction crew meaning it's what your body uses to heal itself, to rebuild itself. You'll never rebuild the body by just repressing a symptom. You have to get at the root cause, and that's what nutrition can do. When you can naturally give the body what it needs to naturally heal itself, to fix the problems they deal with. I love being part of his crusade. I'm Gene Nelson, I'm 51 years of age, a natural bodybuilder. I won multiple titles back in the day when I met Dr. Joe Wallach. I, I was struggling uh, rubbing bone to bone arthritis and asked him how I could piece my body back together, trying to get back into running up against the young bucks and everything started working in my favor and I started winning multiple titles. So the doctors were asking me, what am I doing different? Uh, my body has come to a, amazing changes. The cartilage is growing back. Uh, I'm not rubbing bone to bone anymore. And whatever it was that I was doing, continue doing it. All the other young bodybuilders wondering what was it that I was taking? What's the magic pill? What is it that you're taking? And I told them, uh, Dr. Joe Wallach, My son is a football player, uh, tore his ACL and his meniscus. The doctor said that it would be a year and a half before he would be able to go back to playing. Well, within six months time, Dr. Wallach had him back out there on the field. And just to see what it has done for my wife, she had water in the knees. She was barely getting around at one time. It's done amazing things. I mean, she's able to run, jump, What's helped me the most is Dr. Wallach knows nutrition. The product does its best when you change the way you eat. I've been on Dr. Wallach's program 
for 13 years. And it's just amazing uh, the transition my body has gone through. I believe I'm going to be able to win Natural Olympia and Muscle Mania due to Dr. Joe Wallen. My crusade is to get the word out about how to avoid and how to prevent and how to reverse and cure degenerative diseases. We find this in humans all over the world. They're at their end of the rope. Their doctors say there's nothing more that can be done for them. We just apply the simple facts that we've learned in the animal industry from our human patients and guess what? It never fails. It always works. So I was diagnosed in the year 2000 with ulcerative colitis. Um, it's a degenerative disease of the intestinal tract. And I still remember the moment that the doctor told me that I had colitis because he said, we don't know what causes it, we don't know how to help it, and it's probably going to give you cancer in 10 years. 10 years after my prognosis, I weighed 106 pounds. Um, I was near death. I, was, I, thought, I thought it was going to be the end for me. I had to go into the hospital. They actually did three surgeries on me and removed my large intestines. It really gave me more problems than I had before. And three years after my surgeries, I was given a CD, and um, that CD spoke to me when I listened to it for the first time. Here was this man who was telling me things that I had searched for for 12 years and could never get an answer to. And it changed my life. I, uh, I immediately went on his products. Literally within three weeks on the product, my health changed dramatically. I felt better in those three to four weeks than I had in 15 years of my life. And I still had the medical issues, I still didn't have a large intestines, but the nutrition that was given to me through his products helped me in ways that I can't even explain. It just gave my body what it needed to repair itself, and it uh, made my health so much better. Uh, it gave me my life back. I would give everything I have if I could go back 10 years and know what I know now. If I could implement his teachings and his products, his knowledge into my life, I wouldn't have had to go through what I went through. So if there's anything that I can tell you is give him a try. It'll change your life. You can actually avoid, reverse, prevent all chronic degenerative diseases. None of them are genetic. And we've, we've used this system in animals. We've been able to reverse these diseases in animals. Every disease you can name, we've been able to do it. And for 36 years, I've been employing these principles in my human patients. It works every time. It'll work for you, too. Nutrition, all 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids are required by all vertebrates to maximize their genetic potential for longevity and for health, strength, speed, intelligence, fending off disease. And if we don't have these 90 essential nutrients, even though we have the capacity to live longer, live healthier, be more productive, we're not going to, to achieve this potential. We need these raw materials to do this. We have to do this consciously because these nutrients we require, these 90 essential nutrients, are no longer in our food. And to think that you can just eat well and get everything you need is really a fool's game. You cannot do it. Well, my wife had struggled for quite a few years. I had chronic fatigue. I had arthritis. I had carpal tunnel. Uh, I could not go up and down stairs without grabbing the rail and walking up each foot on each step to get up. We heard about Dr. Wallach. We went to his first meeting, and it's been uphill ever since. I can run up and down the stairs now. My younger sister, her health was worse than mine. Her legs would go out on her. She'd just be down on the floor. Doctors had told her, it's hereditary. There's nothing we can do for you, and eventually you will be in a wheelchair. She had severe fibromyalgia, uh, ringing in the ears, and asthma. And she would spend most of her day sitting on the couch. She was wishing that she could die and praying that she would. And within a month of having absolutely wonderful results, her legs have never gone out on her once. She has not had an asthma attack. The ringing in her ears is almost gone, not quite completely, but she does, no longer has fibromyalgia and she's energetic and going like I am. We've had the opportunity to introduce over 300 people and we've seen amazing results from different people with almost everything you can imagine. We have two people in our group who've completely gotten up from their diabetes medicine and having better results than when they were on the prescription drugs. 
I'm a firm believer in Dr. Wallach. I love what he's done and is doing for people. Um, around eight years ago in 2007, I was running a nutritional supplement company called Perhobe International. And a friend of mine said, a lot of what you're doing is in line with what Dr. Joe Wallach is doing. You should really meet him. And I gotta tell you, very few times in your life do you meet somebody and within like a few minutes you trust them enough to actually change the direction of your life that you're gonna go along with somebody else's vision because it's bigger than your own. And with about an hour of that conversation, I decided to merge my entire company into his company. He was so far ahead of what I was doing and he was going the same direction I was going, just doing it a lot better. I want to be part of his movement. In fact, a lot of the things that he said 15 years ago, 20 years ago, are the new inventions and new revelations today. I was trained in Western medicine, so I'm pretty skeptical of people just saying miracle cures. But so many people have told me wonderful story after wonderful story after wonderful story about how they or somebody in their family received real meaningful benefit from his products that went from being skeptical to like, this is probably for real, to darn, this is right on the nose. And why doesn't everybody know about nutrition the way he does? I think doctors are great. I think they want to do the best job possible. And I think they do what they know how to do, what they've been taught to do. There's a different way of thinking that some of them just haven't been taught yet. Why not focus on keeping people well versus fixing them when they're sick? And I think that this blending will happen over the next 20 years because people will demand it. Autism, ADD, ADHD are just simple nutritional deficiency diseases of the brain. You give that child all 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids, and guess what? It goes away. It's a nutritional deficiency of the brain. It has nothing to do with genetics. It has nothing to do with vaccinations. It's a simple nutritional deficiency, certainly not a Ritalin deficiency. And I want to tell you the truth about a lot of diseases, Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease. I want to talk to you about muscle problems, lupus, fibromyalgia, macular degeneration, cataracts, Alzheimer's disease. All of these diseases are reversible. They're all preventable. I've done it in animals, and I've done it in humans, and I can do it for you, too. I'm Dr. Shane Harada. I've been involved with uh, nutrition and healing herbs for 20-plus years. Definitely not had the results with any other types of products or programs before meeting Dr. Wallach. Um, I have a 17-year-old son with cerebral palsy. At one point, we were in the hospital for five weeks consecutive with him. Many of those nights, I'm driving home wondering if that was my last goodbye with my son. We didn't know if he was going to make it. We met Dr. Wallach. At that point, he was on 750 bucks a month in prescription medications. It took us a year and a half, but we were able to bring him to a state of zero medications and he's now been medication-free for two years. We've had some other very touching situations with a couple of our other children. My daughter was having severe nightmares consistently five, six times a week. She was literally scared to go to bed. Two days and the nightmares were gone. We've had another child. Now, he was having some tendencies toward ADD, ADHD. We would be getting calls from his teacher calls from the principal, literally a call from the principal every week. From Dr. Wallach's work, we know that that's a blood sugar disorder, a few weeks, and literally we start to see changes in his demeanor. The calls from the teacher disappear. Calls from the principal, they're a thing of the past. And the next parent-teacher conference, it's like Cameron's a different boy. My family is so grateful for Doc. We're so grateful for his crusade, grateful that not only we can help our family, but now literally help hundreds of others. That's what Dr. Wallach's done for us. One of the things I had to do to get my information out, because it's so different, and I picked network marketing, and many people ask me, don't I feel bad about that? Don't I feel funny about using network marketing? And the answer is absolutely no. If you do anything with honor, all systems can be good. Personally, I don't take a single penny from the company. The, the whole system of network marketing that I use is to train an army to get the information out again, much like the March of Dimes where they train kids to go door to door to collect dimes for research, but also to share information with people in the household. So we didn't have social media back then. And an army of children was raised and they're the ones that actually 
got the polio vaccine done because they raised the money to get it done. I just love those kids for doing that. And I wanted to use the same system. Two million people on a bad day, 10 million people on a good day are getting helped with my program. And actual new patients who've been helped with weight loss, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, diabetes, macular degeneration. The story has to be told. My name is Dr. Louis Ariaza. My first experience with Dr. Joe Wallach was about 21 years ago, and I received a Dead Doctors Don't Lie audio cassette. I heard it for the first time, and I actually thought that this man had lost his mind because he was so far ahead of what I was learning at the time. The things that he was talking about, the philosophy, the ideas, the vision, the advancements in nutrition that he was talking about, we were all floored by it. Here we are 20 years later, and I have the honor and privilege of being, bringing our company and forming an alliance with Dr. Joe Wallach. In the last two and a half years, he has completely transformed and revolutionized our life. We've been able to bring in over 28,000 people. A quote that comes to mind from Dr. Wallach, he says, you never know how far reaching what you may say, think, or do today will affect the lives of millions tomorrow. It is better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. Get the big idea and all else will follow. Dr. Wallach has given millions of us the big idea. I am honored and privileged to be part of the Dr. Wallach mission. I've been blessed with my family, my dear wife, Milan, uh, who's uh, from China, and she came here as a exchange scholar. She's a microsurgeon. She actually taught surgery at Harvard, so I'm not against all doctors. And um, my children, um, Sarah, Jennifer, Jeremiah, They've all been a great help uh, from the very beginning, Steve and his wife, Michelle. Without them, we just couldn't have done a whole lot. I'm just so very proud of them. I'm sure you can see that Dr. Wallach is an amazing man. I mean, what one man has accomplished against all of the odds in fighting for the truth about nutrition and sharing with us what we need to know to give our bodies the nutrition that it needs so that we can heal ourselves from a myriad of diseases. I encourage you to learn more about Dr. Wallach. I've seen firsthand the thousands of people that he's helped, and I'm one of them. And I'm confident that if we follow his advice, he will get us all on the road to better health. I was on Dr. Wallach's products just a couple of months when a lifelong condition was resolved. I realized about the nutrition that I was missing in my, what I thought I was getting in my foods and foods that I shouldn't be eating that I was. Everyone knows if you don't have health, you have very little and health is so important. Dr. Wallach is committed to this planet at a level that I've never seen in another human being before. If you've rejected Dr. Wallach without even giving him a fair shot, you're, you're cutting off the lifeline of which you could truly help patients. And um, the, the difference it's made on my life has been unbelievable. I start to talk to my, to my friend, my family, we talk to everybody because I feel so great and I want to my friends feel the same like me. Dr. Wallach has created a greater sense of purpose for me in my life than anything that I've ever done or anything that I've been part of. It's something that Dr. Wallach's been talking about for, for years. Now the medical community is, is catching up and, uh, and confirming things that he's been saying all along. I'm so glad I'm here. 15 years later when my doctor said, you only have three weeks to live. Those minerals really work. Not only does it make sense to my mind, but it makes sense to my body. Not only has the message of Dr. Wallach's health helped my life, but the people closest to me have gotten their lives back physically. I completely believe in Dr. Wallach's products, otherwise I wouldn't have my whole crew of kids on it. You're worth 90 days of allowing yourself to take charge of your health. So for me to stay healthy and my family, take me to Dr. Wallace.